Hey guys, it's Triple Jazz. Today I'm gonna show you how to color your line art. Super easy, maybe like a three step process. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so here's this Viking concept I did earlier this year. You can see he progresses from being young to being old. And as he gets older, he gets more accoutrements, more weapons. But as you can see, the lines are pretty like comic booky, So it's gonna be perfect for this process. Let me show you what we do. So first I'm gonna disable the line art. Turn off any background layers or colors. On the next visible layer, make sure it's visible because otherwise this option won't be available. It'll be grayed out. Right click, merge visible to new layer. Now we have the Vikings solid, okay? We can drag them around. Okay, we have a copy of all the solid rendering. We're gonna go to filter, correction, adjust line width. And watch this, this is really cool. This is just gonna thicken all the colors, that's it. It just adds thickness to all the colors, it's genius, okay? We're gonna click on that just for 10 pixels. Awesome. We're gonna go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, okay? We're gonna do about, let's do 15. Turn the line art layer back on so we can see it. And you'll see now that the colors are sort of over everything. We're going to clip this by using this little double square icon here, clip to layer below, that. And now our new colors, the flats and the Gaussian blur and all that, that process is now clipped to the line art. But there's one more step. This is super easy, okay? Layer, new correction layer, hue, saturation, luminosity. So an HSL adjustment. Let's crank up the saturation. Holy moly, let's just do like 40. Okay. Crank down the luminosity. I honestly like to go about 70, 70 both ways, but the colors here, I'm gonna keep them a little bit undersaturated, a little less chromatic than I normally would. And we're just gonna clip that. We're done, that's it. That's it. You now have a fully colored line art. And if you wanna adjust anything, you know, you can just add a new layer, clip it, color select, and you can just paint on this like you normally would, of course, and just paint over it. Like for example, I usually like to keep the eyes nice and black so that way keeps that comic book feel something like that maybe the nostrils too right keep those darks in there a little bit but totally adjustable non-destructive we can just toggle this on or off it adds a nice little bit of color a little crispness a little finishing polish well guys that's gonna be it for me if you like my work you can check out my gumroad I have a bunch of free cool resources there like a comic book template and brushes and a bunch of free fun stuff there's also my new comic which came out the first five pages are available for free to download medium res if you want to support me that's one way you can do it also i have a video coming later this month about motivation so if that's something you struggle with i want to be able to help you with that walk you through some of my own struggles my personal story and then also some things that you can do to really help you with that so if that's something that interests you you want to hear about how to get motivated as an artist, as a young artist, or as someone who's kind of waning on their on their passion, hit subscribe. That, that video is coming for you, and uh, I look forward to sharing that with you all. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you all later. Feliz Navidad.